Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Happy birthday to you Happy birthday Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. And I'm Marie. And today you can see we're over here at Paris Lake. Uh, today it's supposed to be rain all day long and it's a little cloudy so the pictures may be darker than what we've hoped for. It's also very humid. <laughs> we've had a lot of hot weather here and it's been really humid. <laughs> it has been all week long. And afternoon uh, thunderstorms storms. <laughs> yes. Last night we had a really bad one, didn't we? We sure did. Uh, we couldn't decide where to go to this morning to do our Sunday chat because we knew there's a good chance of rain all day long. And I, I opted for the air conditioned. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, we just started recording all of a sudden it looks like the sun's trying to come out, Marie. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see how it works out. but. We haven't been too busy this last week. Marie and I have been trying to enjoy ourselves a little bit, haven't we, Marie? Yeah, we have. Just to take our mind off of all, all the, the stress. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, and we hadn't even been to the movies in uh, years. And so l last week we went to two. Week before. Uh, yeah, week before we went to two. <laughs> yes, we did. And so. that's more, that'll probably, we probably won't go back for 10 more years. Yeah. So. Uh, like I said, we are over here at the Paris Lake this morning. There is a lot of people here today. They've got some events going on. So you may hear a lot of background noise. And um, I may be looking around watching people. There's a walk path that's directly up there. So they may be some people walking through the walk path, might they, Marie? They might be. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so uh, we'll go ahead and cover uh, a little quick health update. I did go and have the echo test done. Yeah. Uh, this last week, a uh, doctor did call and tell me that the echo test turned out good. Everything looked good on it. Yeah. He also told me that on my uh, my stress test that I had the week before, mm -hmm. that I ha did have a couple of things he wants to look at, look at later. But for right now, he said I am clear to go ahead and have the surgery. So next week, uh, or this coming week on the 5th, I'll be going to see the surgery doctor and hopefully he'll get a date set up so we'll know when we're going to have surgery yeah and get that over with okay so a couple of things that we need to mention i forgot to mention this one last week but we had another person that sent us a picture of her shirt and that's amanda cesaro and uh, when she sent the picture she sent it a different way and so i had the picture but i just didn't see it because i yeah. you know wasn't looking for it and so also this last week, Marie, you received, a, is it called a butter dish? Yeah. With the salt and pepper shakers. And this came from uh, our subscribers, Eric and Patrick. And Marie, I'll let you talk about it a little bit. Well, it's just, uh, I think it's a Pioneer Woman one and it it's is. real, it matches my dishes. And it's very beautiful, isn't it? Yes. And so uh, what I'm gonna do, we didn't bring it with us but I'm going to take a picture and insert it here so you'll see it. And y'all be watching, uh, Eric and Patrick, be watching this coming week on Tuesday, and you'll see this butter dish in our video this coming Tuesday. And so, uh, yeah. we, um, as we were driving down here this morning, I was noticing all the gardens as we went past them, and I seen all these tomatoes hanging on vines, Marie, mm -hmm. and made me think about the tomato pie that you made. Uh, this last week. Yes, and I was surprised that Calvin liked it because he usually won't even go near a tomato. <laughs> but he he actually asked me would I would he would I please make him another one soon? And I said I would. <laughs> it was very delicious. Uh, this particular pie we cut it into six uh, pieces, and so uh, I had it 
one piece a day for three days. <laughs> and uh, I loved it. It was very, very good. We did notice in the comments, now this was your first time to ever make a tomato pie, right? Yeah. Right? And, uh, but we noticed in the comments, a lot of people said they'd never even heard of a tomato pie. Yeah. And that would be me too. When I first said tomato pie, I don't want to try that. <laughs> um, I have been wanting to try one for a while, uh -huh. and so I found a recipe that I liked, so mm -hmm. I thought it's a good time to make a good tomato pie. <laughs> it really surprised me at how good it was, and um, I definitely want you to make another, Marie. That uh, pie crust that you bought, mm -hmm. it had two pie crusts in the one package, so I want you to make another one with the second crust, okay? Uh, I, I sure will, Calvin. Anything that Calvin eats right now, now I certainly will make. <laughs> yeah, well, we're very frugal, and when we buy something, we do everything we can to use it. We try not to throw anything away, and we try not to waste anything. And uh, but now on that tomato pie, we usually will give things away. Won't yeah. We make too much. Yeah. But that tomato pie, we just put in the refrigerator and reheat it. Yeah. And I enjoyed every bit of that. So, yeah. Uh, and that was a new video that we had this last week, the tomato pie. It was. I noticed we got a lot of views on it. So. Uh, yeah, and Calvin, I noticed that Calvin was a little tired that <laughs> evening. <laughs> he had to take a little nap. <laughs> It did. It got me tired doing the editing. When you're editing, you have to focus your mind on the computer screen for a long time. Yeah. And uh, it did. It got me a little tired. Doing I was that. surprised that you had enough uh, energy to do it. Now, you know, that's more than I could have done at that point when I was going through chemo. Well, I was wanting to get a video done for all our viewers. Uh, they've been very patient with us. Yeah. And so we appreciate it very much. We mm -hmm. did do another video this last week. I think it was called Hamburger um, Potato Soup. Potato soup. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was a very delicious meal, too. We made that one last year. Yeah. And, uh, but I loved how it turned out, didn't you, Marie? Oh, it was a really good soup. And uh, mm -hmm. you could also substitute, and if you don't want to use hamburger meat, you could use um, turkey, yeah. you know. It's a little cheaper nowadays, yeah. but not much. <laughs> yeah. We, um, now, we do have a video that's coming up this coming Tuesday evening, and we've already got the video completed, don't we, Marie? Yeah. But we can't tell you what it is. I will give you a hint. It is a dessert video, okay, yeah. that mm -hmm. Marie made. This is a video. She's been wanting to make this for probably three weeks or longer. And so I knew it was going to take a little bit of time to make this video. And so she finally, I, fe I felt like doing the record and we finally got around and did it this week, didn't we, Marie? Yeah. And I think if you watch it Tuesday evening, you're going to enjoy it. Yeah, we took some of the uh, dessert to a few people and they requested more this morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was really good. Yeah, it made a lot more than what... Marie and I can eat, mm -hmm. and we did share it. And so, uh, Marie, uh, I'll let you talk about what the shopping that we did this last week. Well, we're going to a, a special party today for a little girl, <laughs> <laughs> Addie. And so, me and Calvin had to do a little bit of shopping uh, this week, and uh, we had to get uh, a few things for her, and it kept us pretty busy all week. And so. <laughs> We got her some things, and we'll show them to you at the end of this video. Okay, that's a good idea. And um, we have received a few more cards this last week. We appreciate all the cards. Yeah. And, uh, but what we really appreciate more than anything else it's is prayers. <laughs> prayers. Yes, because I really think that that's been the key to Kevin doing so well. Mm -hmm. And all. Uh, we're really going to be need him, needing them when uh, he does his surgery too, and so we just really thank everyone for them. Yeah, and the encouragement, people write words of encouragement. Right. That just that helps me more than anything in the world. Yeah. And um, and then also we have a lot of our viewers. Uh, I can think of two or three right now. I won't call their names, but they've told me they're going through chemo treatments uh, right now. Yeah. And so I understand what you're going through. Now, I have to admit, a year ago, if you told me you was going through chemo, I would not have understood it as well. 
even though Marie went through it, it was not me and I didn't understand it. But after going through it your own self, you have a better understanding for it, don't you, Marie? Well, when I was going through it, you were the best support for me. And so I really appreciate how well, to me, you may have thought you didn't understand it, mm -hmm. but the way that you helped me through it, I think you had a good understanding well, of it. You did the same thing you helped me through <laughs> too, so I appreciate it very much. And, uh, and I did know that you were going through a lot at that time, but you just don't totally understand how a person feels until you have to go through it yourself. And so, right. But anyway, so there is several people that have told us in comments that they are going through chemo and radiation treatments right mm -hmm. now. And so I just want you to know we totally understand and we do pray for you each and every day. Yeah, I was so, when I was going through it, I was so proud of each little accomplishment that I was able to do. <laughs> and so uh, I noticed you were the same way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And, and also now, when Marie was going through it, we didn't have the YouTube channel at that time. But I remember very well Marie talking about it. Uh, she still talks about it. She said, she said, Calvin said, your aunt, uh, she called me all the time when I was going through this. And she said, that meant so much to me, her calling me constantly, checking on me. And so now I can turn around and say the other thing, Marie, your aunt calls me. Uh, several times a week checking on me, don't she? She does. And so, uh, so that's just part of it. Uh, when people reach out and show their respect and their care, it just makes a big difference, don't it? Right? It really does, and that's one of the reasons that we're so thankful for y'all for sending us encouragement through y'all's cards. Uh, it's mm -hmm. very uplifting, and some of them have even printed out songs on the card, mm -hmm. and. Uh, glued them to the card and mm -hmm. um, those hymns are very uplifting also. <laughs> they really are. And Marie, I've noticed uh, school started back early this week, didn't it? It certainly has and you can tell by the early morning traffic. <laughs> uh, it seems like school starts back earlier and earlier every year. I know it. I tell you, when we were growing up it didn't start back until after September, maybe a week. Yeah. First week, of, first September. week of September. Yeah. That's been a few years ago. <laughs> it certainly has. Now the sun's really getting bright now, so I hope it's not messing our video up too much. But if you look in the background behind us, uh, you can see a mountain on the other side of the lake. And you can see the lake. The wind's not blowing too bad right now. No, but it is so humid. Y'all would not believe how humid it is right now from the rain that we had last night. And it's just, I'm just dripping sweat right now. <laughs> Well, we'll be through here in a minute, but uh, I noticed you can see the uh, reflection of the mountain in the lake, and that makes some good pictures when you're trying to take uh, photographs and everything. But hopefully it's showing up on the video good, and hopefully the sun's not messing up our video so it's too dark or anything. I know. Sometimes uh, over here uh, we eat breakfast, and Addie and Kim comes over here and joins us in the morning. But uh, today, Eddie, it's like I said, she's getting ready for her special day today. She's having her birthday party. And so um, today, I guess me and Calvin will have to eat breakfast by ourselves. We sure will. <laughs> we won't have cute little Addison to join us, but we'll be enjoying her party this evening. Yeah, we'll miss her, but we've already talked to her on the phone this morning, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> she's so precious. Yeah. And, uh, there is some ducks. A few minutes ago, I seen some ducks swim behind us, but that might have been before we started recording. So I don't know if y'all seen any ducks in the background today. I think these uh, Canadian geese down here at this lake, I don't even know if they go back to Canada or not. <laughs> it seems like we have got hundreds of Canadian geese down here, a lot more than we used to. Yeah, there's really been a population explosion with Canadian geese. Right. But anyway, this is a beautiful location and we enjoy it. Uh, we, we actually come here just about every Saturday uh, whether we do a video or not, we do like to come over here and just look, don't we, Marie? Yeah, and we we do a little walking if whenever our health lets us. <laughs> so, uh, don't know where we're going to go to next week, but we're going to try to find another location outside because I like doing the Sunday chats on the outside. 
I do too. And we need to do it before the cold weather gets here and we can't do it, right? And we need to do it early in the morning before the heat sets in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, uh, I guess that's all we got for today. Uh, I did mention that Marie does have a video coming out Tuesday evening. It's a new video. And everybody that has um, requested uh, some more of it has really enjoyed it. So mm -hmm. y'all will really enjoy making it, I'm sure. It turned out great, and I've got the video already completely edited, so it's ready for Tuesday evening. And so I hope y'all enjoy it. Be sure and watch it and leave us comments. We appreciate everyone joining us for this Sunday chat. Uh, we love each and every one of you. And you're just like family to us, right, Marie? Right, and we all hope that you have a great weekend. Mm -hmm. And uh, all of y'all children that are going back to school, <laughs> I know y'all don't want to, a lot of you. Some of you do, some of you don't. But anyway, I hope y'all have a good school year. And so, Kevin, do you have anything to say? That's about all. We covered it all today. Okay, so y'all do what you love and love what you do, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, and I'm going to get in some air conditioner. <laughs> and the ant got on me, too. I don't know where he went to. There's some Canadian beads right there. Yeah. Yeah. Hi everyone, we're uh, at home now and uh, we had done our Sunday chat over at Paris Lake and so I also told you that when we got back home I would show you some of the gifts that Calvin and uh, I had uh, been shopping around for this week but this come in the mail and we ordered it, it was on our gift uh, list so we got her this little music mat that was on there and I think she's really going to enjoy that because she loves anything uh, that's musical. She'll start clapping and dancing, so she really enjoys music. And we also got this little block set. When we ordered it, we actually thought it was going to be bigger than this, but we, she will still have a lot of fun with it. Um, she loves to take things out and put things back in. <laughs> So I think she'll love taking these blocks out and putting them back in the wagon and pulling it around. And she is one today, so we got her little birthday card, and it really is special. It says, you learn to do so many things you couldn't do before, and every day that passes, you learn a whole lot more. That's so true for Addison. You're cute and sweet and clever. And it's so much fun to see just what a little wonder you're turning out to be. <laughs> and so I just thought that card fit her perfectly. So here are some of the outfits that me and Calvin got her. We got her this little pajama outfit. It has dragons on it. And I think she'll really enjoy sleeping in these. And we also got her this little dinosaur pajama outfit. And then this little outfit right here. Just little leggings and a little shirt. And then she loves to go to church, so we got her some little church dresses. That's cute. We got this little purple one. And I think she can even wear this in October and enjoy wearing it. <laughs> and this is a cute little fall dress. And we got her this little dress. And I think she's set up for fall and still the rest of the summer for right now. So these are the little 
uh, outfits that we got her. So now I've got to wrap all this up. So hope everyone um, has a great weekend. And I've already closed out the chat one time, but I think I'll do it again. Y'all do what you love and love what you do, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Happy birthday. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here